agents of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, better known as ICE, have sometimes been on the front lines of handling arrest and actual deportation of undocumented individuals. And now they will join local and state police officers in the practice of wearing and activating body cameras. It stems from a 2022 executive order from President Biden in the wake of the George Floyd case and applies also to agents of Homeland Security Investigation who handle smuggling cases in field offices on the northern border here in Buffalo and Detroit, as well as Philadelphia, Baltimore and Washington, D.C. So far, with limited funding, only those offices and agents are affected, perhaps less than 200 in Buffalo. A local former Homeland Security agent not surprised by a policy he feels just makes sense for transparency and safeguards for agents as well. And I think in, in almost all cases, they're going to show the public that nothing bad is happening behind the scenes. If you got a body camera, you just say, look, look at the footage. See, it didn't happen that, that way. Some ask why a body camera policy didn't apply to federal agents sooner. McMartin says a local cop has much more interaction with the public, and there are many, many more of them than federal agents. The use of that type of, of equipment was, was almost, you know, a no-brainer at, at the local level years ago. The federal level, you know, uh, as you moved up through the layers of law enforcement, was almost, you know, kind of a non-priority. Again, some of these agents handle deportation. You don't think is related to anything with concerns about immigration? I don't think there was any priority given um, at, a, at a cabinet level basis that, that said, you know, we have to think about giving body worn cameras to the Department of Homeland Security because immigration is a hot button topic. Now, the uh, New York Immigration Coalition, which advocates for immigrants, responded that, quote, ice wearing body cameras in Buffalo will do nothing to help public safety. If we want to actually make our community safer, we must pass New York for all to end local law enforcement's collusion with ice. Again, that's immigration and customs enforcement. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.